my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like all right guys hi it's me watch me cook welcome back to my channel today we're making ice cream cake milkshakes if you guys want to know how to make this please hit that subscribe button and let's make some milkshakes okay milkshakes are pretty standard you guys know how to make this stuff it's not hard a little bit of ice cream you see in there it's just a little bit i found in the carton of ice cream that i had so i just threw it in there so it's not necessary to use that and all of this is from my birthday last week. So if you guys sent out a message to me on my social media, thank you so much. I truly appreciated it. Felt loved and welcomed and warming and all the good fuzzy feelings inside. Again, this is what's left of my ice cream birthday cake and just kind of over it. You get too much of it and it's just a lot, right? So we just cut it up. Obviously my big chunks didn't work so my husband was cutting this up for me. He cut them up in thirds to make them smaller. Do whatever works for whatever size pitcher that you use. I'm using a 40 ounce pitcher. If you guys are using the small personal size, just fill it up all the way to the top as much as you can. And then for me, I am using one and a half cups of milk in mine. And you're just gonna have to adjust a little bit with yours. As you can see, my cake is a chocolate cake with vanilla ice cream and some frosting on top. We just threw it all in there. It turned out to taste more like a cookies and cream kind of thing. And it was absolutely delicious per my family. You guys don't really need to see my cutting or my husband's cutting in slow motion. So I'm just gonna speed this part up so you guys can see that we are filling it up all the way to the top and we're using as many slices as we can. I'm not even sure how many we ended up using, but here we go. As for the milk, we are using 2%, but use whole milk, use whatever milk it is that you prefer. There's no certain kind of milk that you have to use in this. And just blend away. If you find that your milkshake is a little too thick, just add a little bit more milk while you're blending it in. Notice that all the ice cream that we had filled up to the top is about half of that container now. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next birthday, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.